It's Brittany with Brits Tips. Okay, so today I am going to use gel polishes for the first time. I know. <laughs> um, Bio Seaweed Gel sent me a whole bunch of their super cute polishes, so we're going to try them out. Um, they sent me a couple of their Unity All-in-One polish, which is really, really nice, so you don't have to do a base coat, you don't have to do a top coat. It is all-in-one. Um, they also have another line they have a couple different ones but another one is their three steps so that's the one that requires the base coat the color and then the top coat but for today's um manny we are going to use just the unity colors and i have milkshake it's a really pretty pink and marine is a navy blue we're gonna go ahead and get into it okay i wanted to let you guys know my nails are prepped so i did do two layers of peel base and then i did a layer of gel top coat um, just to make it a little bit easier for me to be able to take the gel off. I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start with Milkshake. Now, when I swatched out Milkshake, I did it two different ways. The first way is I used the paintbrush that it came with, and it came out all streaky. Like I said, this is my first, uh, gel polish, like, literally ever. So, I am going to use my gel brush, um, that I use for Builder Gel. Just because I had better luck swatching out with it, um, you don't have to do this. It's just going to be my process. So for the gel bottles, they recommend that you do shake them up um, for a couple minutes or flip them upside down for like five minutes and let them get mixed up. So I'm going to do a full coat layer on all of my nails and I'm gonna use this so what I have learned from swatching is I like the coverage that I get better when I kind of lay the polish like this on the nail as opposed to doing really thin painting like how you do like a normal nail polish so I found that doing it like this I got less streaks um, and like a better coverage Okay, I'm going to um, cure this for a minute. I see a little, a little hump in there. I'm going to wiggle it back out. There we go. All right, I'm going to cure it. All right, I did care for a minute. So, and because this is the um, three-in-one base color and top coat, it's not sticky or anything, but I think I did really, really good for my first time and for one layer. Now, I wanted to show you when I swatched these out, if you do a thin layer, like you would just painting regular polish, Look at the difference in um, opacity. So you can literally just see through this. It's like a hazy clear is what it looks like. As opposed to the way that I laid it on a thick layer coat um, where you get the color in just one layer. So that was my process and I felt like um, I had better luck doing it that way. So I'm going to just continue to do all five nails that way. Okay, I think I am done with my milkshake. I think it came out pretty good. Guys, I am going to get into some nail art now. 
I'm using marine. It's this really pretty navy blue. So my idea is I want to do, now I'm completely new, right, to like gel just to begin with, but all things nail art. Um, so, but my idea is I want to do a cute little heart, right? It's cute. <laughs> Um, at this part of my nail. So like kind of down by my cuticle. So I'm kind of nervous. I'll give it a go. I think it's cute. I mean, it's, it's what I wanted. So we're going to move on. I'm going to try. Now this is going to be kind of hard for me because I think I'm going to do them. I think I'm going to do them this way. Okay guys, I went ahead and did a top coat. I am completely done. Look how cute this cuticle oil is that they sent me from Bio Seaweed Gel. So I went ahead and did a top coat and then I did my other hand too, which I'm left-handed so I am very happy with how my left hand turned out. Not bad at all. Especially for my first time doing gels. Okay, this is the first time I've had matching hands in literal months. I'm not even joking. I cannot wait to go and show my fiance. He always says, are you going to match your hands? I'm super excited. Alright guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Or if you have any tips for me for gels, please help. I don't know if I plan on doing any more, um, but I do have bottles now, so I do have options. So if you have any tips for me, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys later.